Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candy Wear and today we're going to be making chicken drumstick earrings. Hi everyone! So I do have my co-host with me finally, but he's sitting weird. I think this is quite hilarious. Anyways, anyways, on to what we are making. We're making these cute little drumsticks, as you can see, and I came up with a really fun way on how to make these. Now these are not something I would normally make, but I thought it would be a lot of fun to try something new. And this is actually something that has been requested at uh, the One of a Kind show, so I decided why not make a whole bunch for the show. And since it's a new item that I've never made, I thought why not tape it so that I can make a video. So I'm trying to be extremely good making videos for you guys, as you know. And um, one other note, I do, I do want to mention that I ended up using a cheese grater for this. Um, so I got this at HomeSense for a couple of dollars. It really wasn't that much money at all. And um, it did really help the process out, but it's definitely not a must. And you do need a whole bunch of fun spices to give it the um, kind of baked, deep fried look. So as long as you have one or the other or both, which is awesome, then we can definitely get this going. So thanks everyone and let's get cooking. Like always, here's all the tools and I'll leave them in the description box below. So the first step is to make a log, and the way that you do that is by mixing different colors together. So I used some Sahara and some yellow for this one, and some chocolate for the other one that you saw there. And you're going to bake that in the toaster oven according to the clay's instructions, and then from there you can grate it like you can see here. So you want to do that with the Sahara mixture you made and with the chocolate. After that I added in some different spices to give it more of a fun different texture so I added cinnamon and black pepper and then you just need to shake that all up. Now we're going to be forming the chicken so I took some Sahara clay and made it into a ball and then from there pinched out the end almost like a teardrop shape and then you want to use a dotting tool of some sort anything you have on hand to add in kind of the chicken bump uh, where the knee would be and then I added in a head pin because that's going to be a earring and then add on some liquid Sculpey or Fimo, whichever you prefer, it really doesn't matter. So you want to cover the whole chicken leg. After that you want to dip it in your uh, shavings that you created. So you want to just cover all of the chicken leg. Now once the drumstick is covered, you can go back in with uh, your dotting tool or whatever you're using to just make sure that the bump is visible again because that is the definite sign that it's a drumstick. So you want that to be visible and then it's time to bake according to your clay's instructions. Now once it's done baking, I used some matte Mod, Mod Podge and I covered up all of the chicken legs like that. Once that's dry, I used my pliers, my round head pliers, and used my flatbed to wrap around the round head. Then I added in the earring findings, and then I just kept looping around the flatbed pliers until I couldn't wrap it any further. And then cut off the excess. I like to do that with nail clippers, and then you can just make sure everything is all secured and there you have it your own drumstick earrings I really hope you enjoyed that everyone uh, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to check out last week's video here's a clip of what's coming next week and don't forget to check out my Etsy shop or my cupcake DIY kit thanks everyone bye